the recorded. Na, ma, stay. Hi everyone. Day four, or Thursday, or fourth in the box set, on our karma yoga, the path of yoga. Right, really quickly, quick, I'm gonna talk fast because I want this done because we've got, a, we've got some groove to get on the mat today, we've got some groove. So, the yogic path, let's just reiterate what I'm saying. The yogic path is basically um, your way to do enlightenment, to free yourself from the karmic wheel of life and rebirth and death, right? That's the name of the game. And then if you do that and you renounce everything, and you do your karma and your dharma and your bloody good and perfect and all of that, uh, and you live this holy and holy life, you will not be reborn again and you will go and join the big universal consciousness, right? I don't know. I don't know. It's not happened to me. I don't actually know. So that's just a theory of why you follow a yogic path. However, I like the idea that, well, what if it's not true? My dad said you die and you're worm food. And that's what my dad says. End. Yeah, you're dead. You're done. What's the issue? All right, he's very much of that type. So, let's let one more person in. So what if, what if my daddy is right? What if there is no life, rebirth, death, heaven, God, hell, Mecca? Yeah, what if there isn't? What if we all just weren't food? My answer for my dear papa is, well, I'd rather live my life feeling the goodness of life and looking for the goodness of life and having that spiritual path than not. Because it's a life better lived whether you're worm food or God is sat at the pearly gates. Jesus is giving me the big thumbs up and going, come on in, it's a big party up here. Yeah? So that's the theory. So karmic yoga is what we're working on. To be a good karmic yogi, you need strength. And that's the name of the game today. So with no further ado, we're going to go straight to standing. I'm going to get on with the vinyasa. If I was you, if you haven't got a window cranked open, I would go open one now. Your body's going to build up a bit of heat today. There will be standing postures. Yeah? I need you to keep within your parameters when we do this. <clears throat> oh, cup of tea. Oh, yeah, and just for a bit of serendipity from the universe, um, good old Yogi T gave me that little message today. Okay which reads, if you're helping somebody, you are awakening somebody. The tea has spoken. I crossed my palm with silver. Right, so standing on your mat, no further ado, we're gonna get ourselves nice and movie McMovies, okay? So, stand firm. Stand still, but stand firm. Ask your feet to root down, give you that stability. And then with your breathing, just relax into your own skin. And start to feel the expansion and contraction of breath. Don't change. Where is your breath located in the vicinity of your torso? Where is it today? I'm noting mine's a bit high in the chest. I'm gonna ask it to go down into my hala or my, my lower chakras. So the exhale may root me and stabilize me. Good. Gently move the shoulders back so the sternum has a, a little elevation, a little lift. Put wings on your heart. Allow the fingers to curl naturally and the palms will start to move slightly forward. And today the name of our game is to imbue ourselves with strength, yeah, with resilience and the ability to keep going that one minute longer where everybody else gives up. Inhale, take your hands up to the sky, we start moving smooth and easy. Exhale, follow the prayer down and let it be your own style. Follow it down. Inhale, halfway up. Little half fold, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, collapse and cascade. 
send up your peacock feathers. Arms out wide, glide on up. Just glide, just gather the fingers to the sky. Exhale, hands to prayer. Easy, classic, moving meditation. Inhale, take the fingers directly up above. As you forward fold, follow the fingers down to the earth. Look, 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 and you release them. Inhale, halfway up, balancing your mangoes. Exhale, cascade forward fold. So breath is going to be on an ocean. Arms out to the side, rise. Exhale, hands to prayer, we root to the feet. Another one just like so. Inhale. Exhale, follow the prayer. Keep the gaze steady, the district, all the way down till the hands tickle the earth. Then we do the lift halfway up. Do it in a way that gets you the most space. And then gently fold it down. Arms take us out to the side. So the lever is shorter, but, and then all the way up to the sky, tickle the clouds, exhale, hands back to prayer. Nicely done. Inhale, one moment of steadiness. Exhale, release the arms down as if you're just going to drip water off the fingertips. Bend the knees, inhale, open the chest to go really smooth and easy. Like you've been doing, I want you to now dive in. Dive all the way down, swing by the sides of the feet. Inhale into our chair pose. The softest, most subtlest chair pose with the least effort and the least work. So it's a little bend of the knees. Good. Exhale, hands to prayer and we follow the prayer down. Good. Inhaling to plank or part of your plank while going onto your knees. Wherever you are, we're taking a moment of steadiness here. We're just letting the body know it is required for action today to bring strength and breathe between the shoulder blades so you balloon the back of the body up wherever you are. Lowering down to the mat, release. Inhale up, a little cobra but the gaze has got to stay low and the elbows tucked in. Exhale, just let the forehead kiss the mat. Inhale or force. Exhale down the dog. So a nice sweet Easy on the body, sun salutation. We've got our breath to be holding the downward dog. And I've changed my analogy from rockets out of your bottom to the sky to peacock feathers. Inhale, looking forward. And follow the exhale with a step forward to wherever you need to be, taking much as time as this. Take the hands to prayer, pop the thumbs or the base of the thumbs to the forehead, and then draw yourself up with the prayer. Inhale, fingers up towards the sky. Good. Exhale, hands to prayer, and then release them down by the side, and we're ready to take the dive again. So make this as dramatic as you can, like it's something at the start of the movie. And the hero dives off the big cliff into the water, this perfect dive, no splash, bosh down into the water. Inhale into chair pose. The heroine or the hero rise up out of the water, majestic. Ta-da! Exhale, forward fold, deep and low, hands to the mat. Inhaling back into plank of choice. Take your pick. You know, for some, you can even, if you want to juice up a bit, you can even just hover a leg. Yeah? Lowering down to the mat. This time, hands behind the back, please. Press the tops of the feet onto the mat. Take the fingers clasping behind you, but just lift the heart and no head. Head pops down, hands go down. Inhaling back into half plank or full plank, tuck the toes under, press your strength back, and then when you're ready, down the dog, ease it on back, feel it through shoulders. Okay, normal checks please, let's go on a little checklist. Checklist goes on something like this, are my fingers clawing into the mat? Is my tailbone and the crown of my head lengthening away from one another? 
Can I feel it throughout the back of my legs? Could you use a ruler down my spine? Is my pelvic floor gently engaged? Good. Checks created. Inhale. High on the toes, a little look forward. Exhale, forward fold wherever you land. Take the hands back to prayer again. And then pop them on the forehead and guide yourself up. Guide and glide. Guide and glide. Mm. Sounds like some kind of shaving foam. Inhale, hands up to the sky. You can open the heart too. Exhale, release the hands back down. Release, exhale. Are we ready? Another big dive. Be dramatic. Inhale. Yep. Diving down. Wearing the most fabulous outfit. I don't know what it is, but it's fabulous, whatever it is. Inhale into chair pose. Squeeze the knees together. Make sure the feet are together. Have a little check there. Now, just the arms are going to be in motion. Exhale. The arms swing back and we lift the chest forward. Inhale. I'll start tucking the tailbone under. The arms go to the sky. So, a bit of motion in the hips. Release the arms back down. Heart forward. A little bit of tailbone action. Tuck the tailbone under, arms come up to the sky. Time to forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. So, opposite. You can go through the full range of the Chaturanga business. Inhale, halfway up. Or from here, you could just go to child's pose, meeting down the dog. Okay? It's on the menu. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling into your plank of choice. If you've hovered one leg, make sure you hover the other one. Inhale and lowering down to the mat. Interlink the hands behind once more. Keep the elbows soft, you bent. Lift the heart, not the nose. Press the feet into the mat. You can stay here or lower back down. Hands underneath the shoulders. Pressing into plank or half plank. Toast up under, inner thighs alive. Inhale. And when you're ready, if you're in child's pose, we join this again into down the dock. Go quiet, go inside. On the inhale, do take prior to the balls of the feet. It's a moment to reason how far those feet are going to come forward on the exhale. Let the head fold, hands back to prayer, and let the hands guide the head up so it's supported all the way up to the sky. Reach on up. Exhale, hands go down through prayer. Head, lips, throat, heart, release. Going into the big dive, everyone. Inhale. Roll camera. Exhale. Dive in. Film majestic down. Sweep by the feet. Inhale into your chair pose. Forward to Katasana. Reach the arms up towards the sky. Good. Hold steady. Take the weight back. Slightly tuck the tailbone under. Squeeze the thighs together. Now, I just want to remind everybody. This never gets nicer. This is never one of those yoga poses where you go, cut that one. This is a worker bee pose. This one gets you working no matter what. I'm off there. I'm keeping you there. I'm checking the cameras on Zoom. Good. Exhale, sweep the hands down by the side of the feet. Get the chest to the thighs this time. Inhale, back up into chair pose, building up that strength. Exhale. Inhale. Feeling the heat coming along, exhale. Inhale. It's not in threes today, it's in fives. Exhale. Stay with me, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, forward fold, straighten the legs and hang. Mm. Feel free to take some cleansing hoof and breath out loud. Oh, la, 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 la. Ooh. Move the tongue, move the jaw. Raise the right, right eyebrow, raise the left one. 
check in. Inhale, halfway up, bend the knees, lengthen the spine, maybe keeping the arms out, opening of the chest. Exhale into that forward fold, plant the hands down. Okay, either step back into child, child's pose right now, or you take the plank, nice and steady. If you're raising your leg, make sure you keep the body nice and in line. You can even tap it onto the back of the Achilles and then just raise it up. And that will give you quite a, uh, I think, uh, Woodard. I think that one's for you, the old, the old L, L in the house. You'll like a bit of that. Lower down to the mat. Inhale into your expression of cobra. Such a yogi thing to say, yogi each thing. Into your expression of pose. But find that cobra feeling, feet firm on the mat. Good. Inhale into all fours. Come join us, those who have been down on the mat having a chill, full respect. Tuck the toes under, down the dog on the exhale. Shushing the side. Feel from the arches of the feet all the way to the space between the first finger and the thumb. If you can connect them, you're connecting your body. That's a good thing. It's good. When you're ready, inhale high the toes. Step it forward nice and gentle. Take the hands to prayer and guide the head all the way up. Inhale. Okay, fingertips to the sky. We're going to keep it smooth and steady is the name of the game. Exhale, forward fold. Send hip creases back. Good. Let the head hang. So, take the feet a little bit apart now for a bit of stability. And I want to loosen out the sides of the spine. So, sling the hands around to the right. You know this one. Roll one up and I just want you to do some sort of maintenance, some spinal maintenance. Just bring yourself up, see how the spine's feeling. Maybe a little lean back. And then dip yourself back down to the right. Over to the left, do the same again. Work from crown of head and tailbone. Slump yourself up and just check in with either side of the spine. Find where it is, neck, crown of head. And then dive back down again, down that side. Just spinal checks, okay? So you've already gone straight into vinyasa there. Bend the knees and then roll up super slow. Super Super slow. Once you feel hips, heart, head aligned, shoulders come up and drop it on down. Take the feet back together again. Good. So that was, you know, we, we group on now. We're building our layers of strength, building that colour of strength up. Hands to prayer. I can go now, Mr. Egan. Strong inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Feel free to dive into your day. All the way down, swim by the feet, tickle the sides of the feet. Inhale, into our chair pose. Squeeze the knees together. Good, this time keeping the arms long, if you will, or arms can cross over if you have any neck issues. We're gonna get the chest to the thighs. So we're going to Exhale down like a ski jumper. Inhale, come up, chair pose. You're going to need those in the thighs, vibing. Exhale, chest towards thighs. You may feel the toes raise, that is a good sign. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, set the hips back. Inhale, keep squeezing into it. Exhale, this is our last one. Inhale, now come into your chair pose, take the weight into the heels, lengthen the heart forward and hold steady. Hold the ship steady across the waves. Exhale, forward fold. Feels good, feels nice, hang out. Have a couple of breaths, let them pour out the face. Send the tailbone high to the sky. And maybe you'd like to bind the arms behind the back of the thighs. 
you've got hold of the elbows, you've got a little bend in the knees to get there maybe, but when you've got hold of the arms, ladies who are blessed with the boobs of power, please don't suffocate here, you may need a snorkel for this one, if they're sliding into action. And then when you're ready, tailbone to the sky, and go to kiss inwards. You can take the lock down the legs for a bit more drive into the crown. Good. Arms out to the side. Rise on up. And let all of the juices catch up with you as you go all the way up towards the sky. Hands back to prayer. You can see it's quite a standing practice today for that strength. So here we go again. Inhale. Exhale. Release the arms. Inhale. Forward dive all the way. Exhale, we dive down. Arch the spine so it gets a bit of sweet release as we go down. Good. Inhale, into chair pose. Okay, exhale, hands to prayer in front of the chest. Right leg on the move. Inhale, right leg goes back. We find that lunge position. Good. Stay steady for that moment. Square off. Hands are firm, lengthen the heart up. Now, when we come out of this, we're going to go into chair pose. No stand, we're going to step into the chair pose. Like the diving down, we're going to step into it, okay? The arms are going to go up so you know where we're going. Are we ready? Be strong. Have your strength with you. Step forward, inhale, arms up. Inhale, good. We repeat that action. Exhale, step the leg back. Inhale, into chair. Exhale, step the leg back. Want a challenge? Don't go lower, go slower. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Left leg is singing. Exhale. Inhale, hands come up to the sky, let them fly. Hands down to the mat, and we step back into the plank. Hold on, moment of steadiness. Knees on the ground, if you wish. Or child's pose, if you wish. If you're raising the leg again, raise the opposite one. I've lost track of which one I'm doing. Tap the toe on the back of the Achilles heel, and then take the weight away. And lower to the mat, delight. Inhale, lift the chest. Options, little cobra, big cobra, big box, little box, or into the upward dog. When you're ready, we'll all meet. Downward dog. Now, in this downward dog, I'd like to take the edges of the yoga mat. I'd like you to bring the feet forward an extra inch or so. I would like you to bend the knees, please, and then send the tailbone high. I'd like you to put your spine into a thin retraction from doing those stronger poses. We're going to have a child's pose at the end of the next vini vinyasa. Release the hands, inhale, high onto the toes, exhale, step forward. I am perspiring, that could be the alcohol. Take the hands to prayer. Rise on up. Rise, 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 rise. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, just release the hands. Let them feather their way down. Big dive coming. Inhale, gather up, prepare. Exhale, a crescendo into the water. Inhale into chair pose. Find the place where you're gonna come back to after doing the lunges, okay? Know that, okay, this is my comfy variation of it. Hands to prayer. Inhale, we'll take the first step back with the left leg, and we just get our distance, our vibe. It should be a natural step for you into your lunge, okay? Doesn't matter whether it's here or here, or if you know, slung it all the way back there. No one gives a height, yeah? Hands to prayer. Are you ready? Stepping forward. Inhale into chair. 
Exhale, step it back. Your distance, your pace. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And my count, that's three, I think. So there's two more to go. Inhale. Exhale. Hold fire, steady. Steady she blows, lift the heart, press the hands together. Inhale up to the sky, let the arms fall down, exhale. Inhale into plank of choice, or child's pose. If you like a little bit of variation, you can always take the heels over to one side, have a little dip in the hips, and then pop them over to the other side, a little dip in the hips. We lower down to the mat, or you can take your full chaturanga, dandasana for your strength feeling. Up dog, cobra, sphinx. Fuck it. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Inhale into all fours, and as promised, child's pose. And go back and settle. Take the knees a little wide, feel the heartbeat. Feel the opening of the pores of your body, your third kidney, your skin. So what's this karmic yoga about? There's the four different pathways to yoga and they suit personality types. Okay, so the karmic of action, the personality types you're looking for is for someone who likes to socialise and mingle, they tend to have a lot of energy, um, Adaptability can mix with kings or, or rogues. Uh, their ability is sort of like a, a big cosmic love man, yeah? Um, they warm to the ways of other people, so they can mix with different cultures. Um, it's all of that feeling of, of living a full kind of energetic life. As you can probably tell, my chosen path, where it chose me, is, is the karmic yoga. Do things for the sake of doing things as an offering, is the idea. But you mustn't be greedy. Uh, you shouldn't be jealous or covetous or ego. Material stuff cannot mean anything to you. You don't look for work for rewards. You do the work because you like to do it. So that's the personality. I know some of you are like that out there. So if that's your personality, this is your path. This is your style of yoga. Because if you're going to do that kind of lifestyle, Better be strong, old boy, old girl. You better have strength for you. So that's why this class is strenuous. Enough resting. Inhale into all fours. That was your daily waffle. Exhale down with dog. Very nice. Okay. Take that moment in down with dog once more. Edge of mat if you wish. Feet a little wide. Maybe toes out. You can just feel into that down with dog. There could be a pedaling in the feet. Inhale. On to the balls of the feet, exhale, forward fold, find your way there. Hang loose, feet are together, hands to prayer. Inhale, we'll come all the way up, follow the prayer to the sky. Good, exhale, hands come all the way back down. Soft bend the knees, heavy into the tailbone. Inhale, we take our big diving posture. Dive down, roll over it, stretch yourself towards the water, swim by the feet, knees together. Inhale, it's, this is the last one we're going to do with this, everyone. So you can offer up a little bit more of some karmic love for yourself. Settle in. Are we ready? Exhale, hands are going to come back to prayer. Inhale, step the right leg back. Inhale, it goes back and the arms go up to the sky. And we keep the arms up to the sky and we hold them steady there. We're going to step forward into chair. Are we ready? Step forward into chair pose. Good. And then we're going to go straight onto the other leg. Hands for prayer, step back, left leg. Settle in. Know your distances, hips to square, ta-da. Hands up to the sky. And we step forward into chair pose. Okay, so are you ready for a little round of this one? Hands start in prayer, step back, raise hands, swap legs, bish, bash, bosh, work the body like a piston. 
like a machine, okay? But with hot, of course. Inhale, right leg, step back. Exhale, hands to prayer, chair pose. Left leg. Exhale, step forward, chair pose. I'm just going to say inhale, exhale, over to you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Number three. Inhale. Left leg. Exhale. Number four. Keep going. Inhale. Keep it smooth. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. There's four left to achieve it. Inhale to build your strength, do your karma. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I think Trudy's like this. I'm feeling a Trudy vibe here. Inhale. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, extend the arms up to the sky and hold steady here. Strong breath. Power monkeys, balls of the feet. Exhale, forward fold. Oh, thank Ganesh for that. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale into plank. Hold firm, hold steady. Option of dip the hips. We can dip. Child pose at any time. Lower to the mat. Your variation now. Chaturanga down or just lay it on down. Lay it on me, said the yoga mat. Inhale, lift into chest, cobra, up dog. And then we'll all meet in a downward dog. Okay, going into just a fluid sequence now. Right leg is going to go up to the sky. Feel free to start taking a few circles. Now, if you're thinking, hey, I just, I'd like a little bit of a chill right now. I drank a whole bottle of rose while sat in the sun yesterday. You might think, I might leave that bit out. And I would respect you for that. And swing the leg in the opposite direction. We're going to look forward with bringing the knee in towards the chest. Guide, right leg towards the front of the mat. Now, turning down the left heel, hands come to the heart or the head, and we guide ourselves up into warrior one. The hands have been high enough, so I'm going to bring the hands back to the heart center. Draw the shoulders back. East tailbone to earth. <coughs> Excuse on me. Now skip the left leg back, just an iota, and we turn the chest to open up into warrior two. Drop the shoulders out of the equation, take the front leg a little bit deeper, extend the arms out. Just a nice simple sequence here. I like to go for a deeper bend into the front leg, reach forward, and then gather up into a peaceful warrior. Just Gather it on up to the sky, taking a deep bend into the knee. Good. As we exhale, we're going to take the hand down into awkward side angle pose. Hand on the inside. Your variation. Your variation. Variation, 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 variation. As we inhale, we come all the way back up. Straighten the front leg. Ease on back. And you know, triangle pose is where we're going to go. You know this. Press the heart. Hips forward, keep length on the right side. Ask the left hand to join the party. And as it goes up to the sky, we guide and lengthen. Don't go down, don't lean forward, don't do this. No, no, no. I want you to lift up. Raise. And when we're ready, gaze goes back down. Bend the front leg, hands down to the mat. No big surprise. Inhale into plank. Yes, it's a bit like a Friday class, this one. Here's Angleton. Option, stay steady. Option two, 
halfway down towards the mat and a bit of a low plank hold. Inhale into cobra, up dog, whatever feels good. Exhale, downward dog, feel the spot. Very nice. Okay, child pose available now. You can just jack this bit up if you wish. Take a rest so you can enjoy the rest of the ride. Otherwise, left leg up to the sky. We'll start swooping around the knee, around the leg, in the hip. Unfold, unknot. Everyone come join us in the downward dog or from child's pose, just step your left leg through. From child's pose, you go all fours, step it through. Nice. Enjoy the ride. Turn in, right heel. Inhale into your warrior one. Come by heart. Reach for the sky. Let's just give it a square shoulder feel. Yeah, so you can get your measurements right. Hands back to prayer. There is a bead of sweat running down right onto my third eye. I find that quite interesting. Hold steady in that warrior. My back will be turned to you. My apologies for the leggings. Use the heart to turn you. It's like the rudder. Skip the back leg a little bit further back so we prepare for warrior two. Easy arms out into the space. Soften the shoulders, dip deep, and equalize the effort throughout the body, except for the jaw. Dip forward, turn the palm up, and scoop into Peaceful Warrior, Shanti Buddha Vajrasana. Take a bigger dip into the front leg, thank you. Pause back in Asana. Little lift in the knee, take the arm down, find the pose that suits you. If you're going for full posture, I'd expect you to have your knee at a right angle. Just saying, that would be expected. Inhale as we come up, big press in the front leg, straight in that leg. Ease on back, and yes. Lean in, bounce the hip back. Lengthen through the body as we take it down. Hands are most welcome on the hip here. Teapot action is nice. Lengthen the arm up to the skull. Looking down, take the arms down, bend the front leg in, head into plank or child's pose. Or child's pose. Next variation of power up plank. Some of you may be interested in the variation of fingertips. Because work his hands, hey, you better be strong. And then lower it down to the mat, take it low, take it easy. Inhale, force, and I think we'll all agree. Charles Pez, I'll take a large portion. Thank you very much. Double scoop me up child's pose. Take the arms where it feels comfortable to your body, wherever that may be. So when we think about being a karmic action yogi, we do need to get rid of the ego. Oh, we do need to get rid of the ego to do it. You can't pick and choose, oh, I don't like washing up. So I don't want to do that. Go do washing up. You could be painting fences. Yeah, you could be sitting upon a phone as well, too. It doesn't matter whatever it is, that you do it to the best of your ability. And it's the idea is it's not for the reward. Now, I know categorically there is a lot of you, hi Jesse, a lot of you out there that do this anyway. Nurses, teachers, people who give advice for a living, people who go away and learn stuff so that they can serve it to somebody else to make their life easier. You know who you are. That's the basis of a lot of what this personality type does. I'll do all the work and then I'll show you everything you need to know for you and make it easier for your life. That's your doing your karmic action. I like it, don't you? I think it's quite a nice thing to think that's, that's, that's what you're doing. You're being a service. Love you all. Inhale into all fours. Dip the knees over to one side 
and you'll be glad to know that's standing work done slide the legs around oh good nice one feet on the mat we're going to go back to our tabletop positioning but before we do i'd like us just to get the abdominals on board hands behind the backs of the knees i like this variation i like to wrap the arms around remember how we did this in forward fold bind the arms around the legs walk the feet back again ladies with boobs i give you time to arrange yourselves and then just peel the feet off you've got a little grip of them good lengthen the heart up and see if you can bring the legs off the mat okay a little bundle or a little bundle of joy from here move the arms out we're going into boat pose take the hands behind the back to the knees and then press the feet and the arms away till you find this balanced point this point you think hold on this is sustainable if i take my hands away this is sustainable it could be here yeah the feet could stay on the earth and it could be here but i want you to find your place of sustainability you could actually find it more comfortable with the legs raised because the inner thighs work. This is going to make me shake like a dog having a shit, one of my favourite yogic sounds. But the legs are starting to go. Bring the knees in towards the chest, plant the feet down, sit tall. Take the arms behind your fingertips, point to left buttock, right buttock, elbows go down. Firm the feet, get them in a comfy place. When we're ready, we're just going to take a little lift of the hips. A little inhale, lift of the hips, warm up the shoulders. Lower the hips back down. Good. Next variation, we're going to press ourselves up. Lift the chest into your boat pose. Inhale, boat. I'm not trying to kill you. I heard you, O'Brien. She's trying to kill us today, Molly. I heard that. I heard it. Feet go down. Hands go behind. Spread the fingers. Options, fingers out for those people who work a lot on the keyboard, who do their karma, their dharma on their keyboard. Draw the shoulders back. Burn the feet. Lift for as long as you like. Inhale. Grab the pubic bone in your mind and lift it up to the heavens. Now lift the nose and the gaze up to the heavens. Imagine there's a couple of hands just underneath the base of your spine, just lifting you up a little bit. Exhale, the buttocks go down. You know where we're going. Inhaling into boat pose. Raise and lift to the variation. That's for you. It's coming in five. Remember that. The fifth one, we flatten our backs. All right, so stay with me. Bend the legs. Hands come behind. Take any of the previous options or forearms down to the mat. This one is big on the shoulders. Extend the legs long. Point the toes like a prima ballerina. Draw the elbows together. Suck in what you got. And stay kind of sucky anyway. And we get the pubic bone and taking that all the way up to the sky. Lift, lift, lift. Super strong on the shoulders, great for building up for your sort of arm balances. Crow will get easier if you do this, headstands, handstands, shoulder stand. Lower the buttocks back down, we squeeze in and we lift up, boat pose. David Swinson told me when he was teaching, got to drop him in, Dave, me and Dave, like that me and Dave. Yeah, that the eyes should be in line with the toes. <laughs> it's a killer. Feet go down, hands go back. Options any of the previous or lay down and wait. Spread the fingers, point the toes long. Our aim is to get the soles of the feet onto the mat. Peel yourself away. Pubic bone, we call to duty. Bosh, lift it up, lift it up. Inner thighs, body, lift and lift the heart, the head, grip the mat, firm the feet, breathe. 
Miss Searle is here, she'd be liking this one, she likes this one. Lower the buttocks down. Okay, are you ready? Last boat pose, splat attack after that. Ease yourself into that boat pose. Ease it in. Maybe the finger on the back of the legs, a bit of momentum and stability. We'll stay with this pose. Abdominals are working. A big scoop, scoop. There goes the shake. Thighs are going. And then splat to the mat. Oh. Oh. Hands on the belly. Squiggle your shoulder blades underneath your heart. We still need a twist, okay? So, we can't do all of that linear up and down the mat without giving our spines a twist, particularly after the amount of chair pose we've done. So, bring the knees really close to the chest. Let gravity draw the knees in towards you. No muscle strength. Let the inner thighs come towards another. Let them sandwich in like gentle magnets, just attract to one another. Fingertips, place them just onto the shin bones, an inch or two, and then tuck them onto the inside of your shin bones. You find like the razor blade edge of the shin bone. Have a little wiggle side to side. Relax the head. And just use your fingertips to draw the knees closer in towards the chest, creating the softest lift of the iliosacral joint, that big triangle bone that attaches your spine to your head. And draw them in and just gently lift off the mat and then relax the arms, relax them down, let the knees move away gently. Good. This time, similar, similar but variation will take the knees slightly over to the right. So as you draw it in, just ease over to the right and it should, it gives you a little bit of the feeling that Belinda loves it move down the outside edge of the lumbar on the right side and release and just press the knees away, away with your knees. Then over to the other side. So, Keep doing this, I want shoulders glued to the mat, and moving the knees away. But each time you come from another cycle, just take the knees slightly further away from the chest and over to the side. So we're working down the vertebra. You're making little cup shapes, crescent moons with the knees. Are they just for interest at the moment? And um, there's a possibility of seeing Mars in the sky because Venus is so bright right now. And we've got the new moon, uh, full new moon tomorrow. So it's great for stargazing. So as you move the knees away from me, you're going to take a bit more of a simple twist onto the mat. Ease it back. So what I'm trying to say is investigate your spine in these twists. And then when you're ready, just drop the knees over to one side and take the gaze over to the opposite direction and rest there. You'll know the place to stop as long as you don't question it. Just like your intuition. How many times have you questioned your int intuition and it didn't match what you wanted? For You know what I'm saying? Hmm? You don't question your intuition when it's what you want. You're like, oh, go my intuition, that's a marvellous thing. I must drink some red wine. It's my intuition. When your engine says, actually, uh, you don't have to down a bottle, mentioning no names, do we listen? Do we not? <laughs> Bring the knees back over, that was delightful, and then over to the other side and take the gaze over as well. And just let your breath be your guide to know whether this twist is bringing your body more alive, more freeing. And then bring the knees back together. Okay, final pose is gonna mean we're just gonna sit up for a moment. So take hands on the back of the knees, roll yourself up to seat here for a sweet bit of spinal relief. I'd like to take blankets, it's gonna be at the ready. We're gonna pop it underneath the knees. Hang those knees out. I want a very relaxed, very easy forward fold into this. Just forward fold in, just forward fold in. And then just hang there. 
Again, remember before you can add another blanket here to rest the sternum and the chest on. This can be just lovely. You may find if you have put something underneath there as a support, you can just remove it after a moment or two. And then just sink on it. Let the feet be completely relaxed. No activity there. And finally, bell to ask the head to let go. And as you do this, I want you to start instilling, if you don't mind, a deeper exhalation here. But a really deep exhalation. Go all the way to the bottom of your breath. And take a pause before you gently inhale. As you exhale, hopefully you can feel the spine open out a bit more. Remember that we've done all of those chair poses and shooting the leg back. This is our way of uh, compensating the lower spine. This is our way of getting that into the cells. So we build new muscles, new ligaments, new tendons. We repair damages, we improve. This is the thing I always call like marinating in a posture. You can't just, you know, look, meat eaters, I get it, yeah, but you try and eat blinking tofu. If you don't marinate that for at least 48 hours, it basically tastes of papier mache. Gotta marinate. Let tofu be your guide. <laughs> Such a cheesy yoga thing. <laughs> Gently roll up. Now leave blanky where it is if you wish. If you are going to do that, just take the leg out a little bit to the side. Get a little bit so I hope the toes roll out. Down we go. Just lay thy body down. Settle on it. Mm. And when the head touches the pillow for your shavasana. I mean, let's get real, you know? The very, very last time you lay, lay your head down, you know when that is, the very, very last. If that was today, what would you be doing? What would you wish you'd done? What would you like to do more of? What gave you joy? So through this practice today, our aim is to give strength, fortitude, stability to go and, and do those actions that allow us to be of service, to be in the moment, and all that jazzy business of yoga, all happening our few months in a place called you. Oh, maybe I should do more work. I feel like I'm busting out the lyrics today. And as you focus on keeping that exhalation a little bit longer, a little bit sweeter, a little bit softer, allow the muscles to drop away from the bones. Allow the fluids of the body to sink into the back. Take a moment to check in with the jaw and the tongue. Just move the tongue around the mouth for a moment. And then let it settle. Maybe draw the shoulder blades just a little bit underneath you so the heart stays in receive mode. Allow the eyelids to become heavier. And invite the physical body to rest. To take account to rest. Again, 
again, we notice the thoughts in those moments. And the moment you notice the thought, you notice you are not the thought. And this is good. This is very good. So after today's practice, after a strenuous session, I invite you for the simple game of randomise your thoughts. When you come in, no, they're not you. Send them off with another random thought to join it. Randomising your thoughts takes concentration on one thing. One pointedness is the meditation we seek. Maybe for the last five breaths. Can you become unattached to the thoughts? Allowing this moment be better so you're not doing it. And while I have you susceptible in my devious hands, I'd like to plant a seed today. I'd like to ask your inner soul, heart, to do something secretly which you shall never mention ever, ever again, to do something in service for another and do it in a manner that you do not reap any rewards or think about the rewards or what that may do. An act of total selflessness because you can. And do not speak of it again. Shush. Keep it in your heart. And I do hope that today that will arise somewhere along the day. There'll be a moment, whether that is giving a smile to somebody who looks forlorn, whether that's leaving a gift on somebody's doorstep. Whether it's calling that person that you know really would love to hear your voice. And do it with absolute selflessness. Without asking for reward. With humility. Taking the hands onto the heart. Seal all that love in for yourself so that you can go shine it on many, many others. In your own perfectly imperfect, perfect ways. Take the hands to prayer and take them to the forehead so I can quietly give you a namaste. I wish you a day of magical miracles, everybody. I hope that the, it will arise for you to do something to be the secret karma yogi. Very exciting. I know you can never tell me about it, but I shall imagine some, you guys doing some really wonderful things. Yeah, I'm going to imagine it. It's going to be great. It's going to be good. So now look at everybody and just thinking what you might do. Yeah, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, it's going to be a good day. You're all going to have a great day. 
Till then, till tomorrow, till the next class. I love you all. Karmic yogis. Go rock this world. Love ya. <laughs>